When you're getting tumbled by a big wave, sometimes you can't help but get a mouthful. What kind of bacteria is in the water out here? When I was two, my dad used to paddle me around on the board. My first time I stood up was when I was um, four. Beth watched me growing up. She would give me a push, and when we, she's all, like, get up, get up. I had the fortunate or unfortunate experience of treating many surfers from the Malibu uh, surf rider beach with um, an unfortunately high incidence of uh, infections relating to the poor water quality. Yeah, I got strep, strep throat six times in a row. There's an extreme itch and my skin turns, uh, uh, will start to get blotchy and itchy. You know, maybe one of the reasons why they don't close the beach is because there's only, you know, three or four hundred surfers that surf here on a daily basis. and When wetlands are, are taken out, the water comes right out to the ocean without ever getting cleaned. The flows that come out of this creek can get substantial, I mean substantial. And when this thing overflows its banks or you get scour in between these rocks, they don't have any ability to adjust. When the riprap gets eroded and falls in, and it will, as it does, and that's why they've had to get an emergency permit to add more riprap to the existing riprap that was already here, it's gone. Same with concrete. When your concrete channel erodes, it's gonna erode. Streams are very powerful things designed by nature. Vegetation, on the other hand, if vegetation falls, and it frequently does, it can reroute right in the side of the stream. It can adapt to slumping stream banks. It can regrow. It is, it is dynamic, whereas this is a static thing. And given that the watershed's so overdeveloped, uh, Areas that would normally purify water, such as grasslands, open space lands, where the water would sheet across and flow during, during say, rainstorms, as well as where these waters would enter into wetlands. A lot of this has been uh, lost due to hard surface, you know, hard surfaces like streets, subdivisions, and so forth. And those aren't uh, areas that can treat these waters before they enter this. And the system is turning into basically a sewer system. That's funneling all these ways that enter the system uh, into the ocean. One of the items that was discussed but not addressed in these recommendations was actually moving uh, the part of the shopping center uh, out of harm's way. Obviously it would have to be with the agreement of the, of the landowners and we don't see this as something that will happen immediately. However, it is quite obvious that the creek is moving in that direction. You need a good 16 to 20 acres or more. The reason for the, the large size, 50. yeah, or even 50, you know, this would have to be calculated out, but, but size is what's going to help you.